What's up, guys? Kanye, I want to talk to you about Flash number 54. I had to figure out which way was the right side up. Because <laughs> it could go that way, right? It looks like he's running up this way. I guess he's running down. I don't know. Sideways, run sideways. I mean, it works uh, always. Anyways, this is the right way. So, this, this, this issue was excellent. This issue was excellent. So there's a, it's a little slow build at the beginning, in my opinion. Now some people might enjoy it a lot better, mostly because some of the, like the strength force kind of thing just really doesn't appeal to me. Um, I'm just still getting used to it. Like the speed force makes sense, the strength force does not. Uh, maybe that's just because we haven't developed it yet. Maybe it's because they just threw it on us and expected us to, you know, to be okay with it without, you know, developing it at all. But, you know, such is life, right? You know, I just following along. Uh, Williamson has done a great job on Flash so far in general because I feel like he really understands the Flash family. And uh, although, speaking of Flash family, as a side note, Where's Bart Allen? Like, he showed up a few issues ago, and we haven't seen him since. So, get on that, Williamson. Anyways, um, and I think this issue is proof that Williamson understands the Flash family. And uh, one reason why I love Flash over most of the superheroes is because the Flash actually takes time to save his villains and what i mean that is not just like save their lives but save their um try to save their future so like there there's issues like flash takes time to get to know his his rogues to uh try to convince them to do the right thing to actually be better people and sometimes it's successful and so in this issue he's arguing with the young trickster to be good, which is so good, S such a great, um, such a great concept, and so he's trying to save Trickster's life in like his physical life, but also try to save his life, like, um, uh, like try to save his soul so that he's not like um, a loss to the world and turned to evil. Uh, he's been taken over and corrupted by the strength force, so Barry siphons some of the strength force off so that he can kind of match him, slash take away some of the power from him so he's able to reacclimate and become the old trickster again. They're trying to take his power away and try to save him from the strength force because it can't be controlled at the point, at this point. Anyways, and then... When he gets the strength force, uh, the owner of the prison wants to kill him, and Captain Cold agrees, so they all try to attack him. And then Barry tries to defend Trickster and uh, keep Trickster from doing anything he regrets. And so they end up fighting each other, but in the process they end up destroying like the, the facility and it starts falling on top of them. And so Trickster... Well, Barry loses his, his strength force power and just becomes the speedster that we all know and love. And so Trickster is like literally holding up the whole the whole place while his strength force is diminishing. So it's all falling. Uh, he's losing his power, so it's about to fall on top of them. And so, you know, Barry has to go grab all the villains. Uh, and then run them out like in here you've got heat wave you've got uh, mirror master you've got golden glider i don't know who that is but i can probably figure out um so it's a lot farther back than i thought it was going to be yeah no nope, don't know okay anyways they don't say uh anyway so Trickster begs Barry to go save all his friends, and then Barry, you know, rushes them all in and out, and then comes back trying to save Trickster to get him out before it all collapses, 
and then by the time he gets back at the end, because of course Barry is always late, which is you know one thing that's interesting about the character. He can run faster than anybody else except for Wally and Ao Barthon apparently. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Lewis. Um, and uh, he can run faster than anybody, but he's always late to everything. Which you know, in uh, Batman and the Button, he's he doesn't get there in time to see Batman. Uh, uh, to save Batman, what saves Batman is, uh, I think it's, well, they haven't really told us, but uh, Eobarthon touching the button and getting destroyed or whatever. And then, you know, other times, like, he's always late to work and stuff, and that's another uh, reason I love him, because um, I'm always the same way. I'll leave, like, an hour early, and I'll still be late somehow. I don't know how it works. Anyways, so he gets there too late. Trickster dies, and uh, man, it's and just you know Barry struggles with like the emotions that come after it, and then like I I didn't really care for for the way it ended with uh, um, with um, Iris, but I thought it was really good. Um, it was a good story. So Iris is remembering their past, and uh, that they were married, and uh, she doesn't want to tell him that, but then she wants to criticize him for not telling her about his secrets, and uh, he confronts her on that. He's like, "Hey, like, you, if you want me to be open, you've got to be open too," and she ref she refuses, and so they kind of. Well, he kind of just walks away and you know leaves it, and uh, I'm sure they'll deal with that. Hopefully, they'll come together. But the spoiler at the end, we see the other trickster. Of course, this trickster survives. We saw the other trickster. Uh, the old one's back. Um, so uh, yeah, so trickster actually survives the new trickster, and he meets the old trickster. And uh, now we just need a special edition with Mark Hamill to show up as the trickster. That'd be fun. Uh, I love that he's both the trickster and the joker. Um, the best of both worlds, right? Um, anyways, let me know what you think. I, I really feel like it um, captures uh, the essence of Barry that I did not like in the Justice League movie. Because I was like, that's not Barry Allen. Barry Allen is such a social person. Like, he cares. This is bothering me now. It's been three videos, and I'm now just fixing it. Um, been three videos, and uh, he... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. This this microphone got me all, all out of whack. It is, it is good now. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like the, the movie because it's like Barry Allen's a socialite. Like he cares about his people. He might not be an extrovert, but he is friendly with, with a lot of people. And I, th I feel like uh, the uh, Flash TV show gets that very well, uh, that he cares about his people. Now, Lewis would tell you, well, Barry Allen's a very boring person, and I think that that kind of plays into it. But the people that he knows and is good friends with, they, uh, he keeps them very close, and, uh, and he really cares about people on a personal level, and so villains aren't just villains to him, they're actual people that he wants to reach, because he has hope, which is why he became a Blue Lantern, uh, he has hope that they could change if they would, uh, if they would, uh, try, and so he can't not attempt to help them become better people and it's one of the reasons why I love uh, Luke Skywalker um, and he's my favorite character ever in general is because Luke this even though Darth Vader is like the darkest character and there is no help and everybody else is giving up hope Luke has hope and he says I can reach him and he he's like I have to try to reach him um, at least so, so that I can say that I've tried to reach uh, reach him and turn him away from the dark side. And so Barry Allen's very similar. He's like, hey, like, and I think Wally West is in this, and uh, the verdicts up on on Bart Allen, we'll see. But I'm sure he'll be like this too, where they 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 love 
they care for their villains as people and don't just see them as as uh, obstacles to uh, justice. They see them as people that need to be reached and saved. And I really love that. Like Batman villains, they're kind of beyond saving, but the Flash villains, they're worth saving, and I love that. And so he has some great relationships with with all of his uh, rogues, and even though they hate him and they're trying to stop him, you know, sometimes he'll, some of them will, will change, and they turn, and, you know, they become not necessarily friends, but uh, on talking terms, and, you know, he can, you know, work with them sometimes, uh, so I really love that about the character, and I think it's really shown well in, what issue is this, 54, Flash 54, so great job, Williamson, um, but give me Bart Allen. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you next time. Let me know what you thought, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.